Hey Ham Geeks, welcome to Ham Brief, episode number one. We're going to try something up a little bit different uh, this week and going uh, forward. Um, this is 73s.org, and uh, as you can tell, we've got some new shameless uh, plugs here on merchandise. So uh, you can pick up some of your, uh, get your 73s uh, merchandise at uh, Cafe Press dot com slash 73s look at all this stuff from t-shirts to girls guys uh what do we got some hats down here i got me a hat all sorts of cool stuff so coffee mugs can't have too many of those so go ahead and get your stuff out there and um we're gonna do some uh news and reviews and uh, we'll try to get this out on a weekly or, or uh, bi-weekly basis and um, to start off with, there's a cool new application available on the iPhone as well as the iPod Touch. I don't know if uh, you folks have those. I have the iPod Touch. Uh, love this little thing. I think I do more web surfing on it than I do um, uh, pod uh, listening to podcasts. But um, uh, Callbook, Callbook is the name of the service. And it has, it offers, um, uh, let's see, it offers uh, free call sign lookups. Um, and if you subscribe to KRZ or Ham Call, you, all, you get a little bit more information. Um, but here, let me show you on the page here. Um, you can see, it, you can put in a, a call sign there. You can, uh, when you hit this little uh, arrow here, you get the information about the um, the ham address, uh, where they uh, where their QTH is located, their grid, and then if you've got the subscription to QRZ, not necessary. You get an image that they've uh, submitted uh, there as well. I've been using this WM7D.net uh, free version. It's been working out well. What's really cool is uh, once you get the lookup, you can go ahead and email it to yourself or a friend that you've had uh, this contact. Um, and then you can see it. It's all integrated with Google Maps. So you can see it here on this uh, mapping service. And um, it's it's pretty sweet. I got to say, you, know, you, you can do all the pinching and stuff. So I typed in N7ICE there. That would be me. And I hit the little arrow. What's well, a little arrow? They should make the arrow bigger. And then I get all my QTH information, my grid. Um, what else do I get? I thought I got long lat codes. I guess I don't. So I can either email this to someone or show QTH. And oh, there's my long lat code. So you see the Google map come up right there. And in the um, in the top of the uh, address bar, it's got my long lat coordinates, longitude, latitude. So pretty cool, pretty sweet. Um, you can get directions to uh, the Hams uh, QTH if you wanted to. So very cool service. Uh, it's not free. It does cost a uh, dollar ninety nine, but it's it's well worth a dollar ninety nine. Um, just for this type of information. The only thing that would make it better is if it integrated with uh, 73s.org. So we'll have to talk to, um, uh, looks like Dog Park Software is is the maker of it, um, and, and talk to them about having it integrated. Okay, so our first review is going to be on the Yezu uh, VX7R. Um, this is my personal radio. I've got a bunch of radios. Um, probably more than, than a ham should have, but this is a pretty cool one. You know, we turn it on, it's got this nice bright amber glow to it. It has, uh, it's submersible, so it's the first radio that, uh, that was on the market that was, uh, claimed to be, uh, fully submersible. I guess you can drop it, uh, whew, three feet down for 30 minutes and it's still, uh, you pull it out of the water and it still works, so... In, in Arizona, the desert, we don't get many uh, floods, but we have a pool, so I guess as long as I'm on the shallow end of the pool, I, I should be able to drop this in there, although I'm not going to try it. <laughs> I believe you. I take your word for this, Yesu. I'm not going to try it. Um, but it's a, it's a very cool radio. Um, 
it has uh, four bands. The U.S. version of it has four bands. Um, it has um, the ability to do, of course, the, the typical uh, 2 meter, 70 centimeter, but it also has uh, 50 megahertz as well as 222 megahertz for uh, the U.S. band. So tri-bander for uh, outside the U.S., quad-bander for in the U.S., and you have this little uh, extra tip here. Uh, that you screw on to catch the, the 220. Otherwise, it's a much smaller uh, antenna here on this radio. But um, very cool, very cool little radio. Um, some of the things I like about this um, is its battery. I, I can run this thing for over a week um, before uh, it, it uh, before I need to charge it. Um, this mic is kind of big, but it's submersible. I guess it's sealed really well. Um, what I do like about it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's basically two radios in one. You can still hear the other channel while it's broadcasting on, on the main. So, and you can, you can toggle between both or lock it in on, on one so that you don't have uh, multiple frequencies. But this is great for chasing, uh, AMSAT, uh, satellites, uh, flying by because you've, you've got the listen mode on it as well. Um. Another cool thing I really like about this radio is the quick release. Um, you put this on your belt, and uh, basically the radio slides upside down into the, the uh, release and then flips up on your waist. So um, it, it locks itself in, and you have to turn it upside down to pull it up. So um, I guess you could just drop it in at locks, but you have to pull it upside down to release it. What I like about that is you're not always digging with this clamp uh, to take it off. It just basically sits in on your your waist and it swivels too. So you know if you're sitting down, you know the gravity will pull it, you know, straight up like that, or you know this thing swivels and um, you're not always poking yourself in the in the ribs with the antenna. So that that's really cool. Um, great battery life. I would give this radio. If we're going to do uh, diamonds, you know, for the Iceman, everyone needs their own type of uh, rating, I would give this one 5 out of 5 diamonds. Excellent radio. I'm very excited to see the new uh, VX8R. Um, we're supposed to be getting one shipped to us uh, next week, I believe, a promo radio. Uh, they've been held back a little bit with uh, waiting for the FCC uh, clearance um, to release, but... Um, I, I think this is a, a uh, fantastic radio. Five out of five diamonds. Ice.